In this example, we're going to be rounding the same number to different money amounts. So we're rounding $127.56 first to the nearest dime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and write the number again here, 127.56. To round to the nearest dime, that's the tenths place. So we're going to focus on these two digits right here. The 5 is in the tenths place, the 6 is to the right, because the 6 is bigger than 5, then I'm going to round this to 127.60. And that is rounded to the nearest dime. To round the same number, same monetary amount to the nearest dollar, I'm going to focus on these two digits, the 7 and the 5. The 7 is in the 1's place. The 5 is 5 or bigger, so I'm going to round my 1's place. I'm going to increase it by 1. And I'm going to keep the decimals to the right because this is money. So that's $128. The same number rounded to the nearest $10. I'm going to focus on these two digits right here. The 2 is in the tens place. The 7 is bigger than 5, so that's going to round to $130. And again, I'm going to keep all the decimals in this case because I'm representing a monetary amount. 127.56, $127.56, rounded to the nearest hundred dollars. I'm going to focus on these two digits right here. The one is in the hundreds place, the two is to the right, the two is less than five, so my approximation to the nearest hundred dollars is going to be one hundred dollars.